What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, August 29th, 2020, about uh, 6.54 p.m. Saturday night out here, party night. Uh, of course, no partying going on out here once again. Pretty mellow here in California, at least in my neighborhood. Uh, taking a look at the earthquake 3D globe out there. Show some very minimal earthquake activity out there. This is pretty uh, calm and relatively below average earthquake activity for any 24 hour period. And the uh, red rings out there indicating some older earthquake activity. So if you look at the globe, we're pretty much looking at older earthquake activity throughout the region, throughout pretty much the, uh, the earth and the globe area. So pretty much the calm before the storm, I'm guessing, and that's kind of what I'm uh, placing my money on. Uh, we do need to talk about some things going on out there over at Yellowstone National Park there. The geyser called Giantess roared back to life after uh, being quiet for about six and a half years. A pretty significant eruption taking place out there. Uh, and that's uh, according to the Yellowstone National Park Facebook page there. You can see that yellow, you can see the geyser roaring back to life there. This is uh, pretty significant. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that anything uh, is forthcoming as far as eruption goes or anything like that. It does have a history and it's much, the geyser height is pretty much about 20 feet higher than Old Faithful Geyser, which is pretty significant when it comes to, uh, you know, far as like photogenic uh, opportunities out there. It's definitely got, uh, that's I guess that's kind of why they call it Giantess. But uh, yeah, we talk about uh, uh, the geyser height here from about 100 to 200 feet high. Eruptions gen generally occur uh, two to six times a year. Of course, it hasn't erupted in about six and a half years. Uh, August 25th, just a couple days ago is when the last time it erupted there. So kind of kind of some interesting events going on at Yellowstone National Park. The area that it situ situates in is just pretty much to the northeast of the Old Faithful Geyser here along the walkway, if you will. So still pretty much within the Central Park area of Yellowstone National Park. Not uh, anywhere abnormal, I guess, if you will, in that um, in that area. But still, I thought I'd mention that. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty hot still. Uh, the uh, temperature of the water comes out at about 194 degrees here. You can see that uh, activity over there, 194.7 degrees. So not something you would want to jump into and have a nice bath in so definitely a hot water area and a little bit more information out there on the wikipedia website there the giantess geyser in yellowstone national park like i said this one is about 20 feet higher than the old faithful geyser so this is kind of why they call it the giantess right got its name for a specific reason and uh, it's something to uh, definitely admire out there six and a half years ago so we're looking at uh, man what are we looking at there 2014 2013 area last time it erupted take a look at the earthquake activity folks around the globe here let's go to the USGS website here and there's Pretty much minimal activity as I pointed out on the earthquake 3D globe. It's, uh, it's very inactive when it comes to anything 2.5 and above. This activity here is the USGS all magnitudes here. Showing activity in the microquake range throughout Nevada and also through Ridgecrest and down through Los Angeles area south of the San Andreas fault system here. Pretty uh, Pretty quiet activity though when you look at an average of earthquake activity. Alaska on the other hand um, definitely showing a pretty good influx of earthquakes out there in the uh, just north of the subduction zone here of the Pacific Plate. 
and uh, those are all microquakes for the most part but there is definitely a good sized number taking place throughout the region looking at the global earthquake activity pretty quiet folks I mean it's uh, normally when we see this period of quietness it it's gonna lead to uh, pretty much an explosion of events out here and that's kind of what uh, kind of what I'm expecting out here pretty soon uh, the trimmer map out here in the Cascadia subduction zone here go ahead and bring that up here real quick not a whole lot to report here over the 29th go ahead and bring this back one day and we'll see if we can find anything going on of course this was mentioned last night in the update video here a little bit of activity in the Pacific Northwest but uh, since then like I said today's activity showing no activity so uh, geologically speaking it's relatively eerie quiet out there in the earthquake department Yellowstone National Park here not any activity showing up at all this is all weather related wind events here there's a cold front coming in uh, here pretty soon within the next couple days uh, to the southern plains central plains this may be already a sign of the incoming cold front here with the wind but uh, no magma no um, tremor movement going on up here in Yellowstone National Park so that's a good sign for sure So it's uh it's it's pretty eerie folks I mean uh, all this activity is gonna drop off really soon with no new earthquakes there's no white rings no green rings out here at all the only ring we have up there is in uh, Alaska the 2.7 but other than that worldwide folks aside from that 4.7 there in uh, northwestern South America that's it very very quiet folks eerily quiet in the earthquake department so uh, it's something to be on guard about i'm sure we'll see a very large uptick here very soon so uh, make sure you stay tuned to the the uh, channel here and we'll update uh, whenever something happens out here in the meantime we'll chat you guys a little bit later i still have my brisket going on it's a uh, it's a all-day process barbecue and some brisket I started at about uh, oh, about 12 30 this afternoon here and it's uh, seven o'clock I'm guessing about three to four more hours on the barbecue and it should be ready so hope everyone out there has a good night I appreciate the comments I've been reading through them uh, I even appreciate the negative comments you know if you got negative comments to say and it's worthwhile mentioning uh, and it's got a point to it, I will definitely read it. So uh, feel free to message and comment as you will. Have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later. Peace out.